everyone, welcome. This is Melissa Arm with Stock Swish and Reviewing the Market. You know, I really, I, I'm i gonna shut it down for the night here in a minute after I'm done with this video. And, you know, then I'm gonna watch the election coverage. We'll see what happens with the market tomorrow morning. Someone asked me in the room today, what would I think if we would be up, you know, at, on this support level to go long tomorrow? I said, I, I gotta be honest with you, I really would have, I'm really not sure. I have to rate the gap. Again, I think the important thing about times like this is that you go back to the basics, you go back to the nuts and bolts, you go back to the nitty gritty, and you and you just rate the market. I mean, just rate it. And everyone in my classes how to do this. The rating system tells you what to do. Don't go with your emotions. Don't go with what you think. Don't go with what, with what you feel. You feel bullish because so and so is up, and you're for that person, or whatever the case may be. Um, you know, or bearish if so and so is losing, and whatever the case may be. The reality is that. The, the, the great thing about my rating system is that that is what you follow. That is what it is. If it rates 20 points or more, you take it in the direction of the gap. If it rates 18, 19, it's 50-50 chance of working or failing. If it rates under 17, and really the rule is under 20, you don't do it at all. But occasionally I have done gaps that rated 19 under special circumstances, okay? The market's a different bird, <clears throat> you know, because we have a lot of news volatility that occur in the market, more so than stocks specifically, which stocks got for many reasons. Could be earnings, could be news, could be the sector, could be with the market. A lot of things were up today with this market. We really, um, we did close, close today uh, green, and we are getting bought tonight, at least right now, 7.22 Eastern time. So the post market is gonna close here soon. And then we'll see where we open tomorrow. <clears throat> but I got to be honest with you. I can't say, number one, what I'm going to do tomorrow until I see the gap. Because again, I'm going to go back to the nuts and bolts and rate it. And number two, I got to be honest with you. I'm not sure if I'm going to want to go long, even if we gap up tomorrow, even though we rallied today, even if we gap up at 4 340, even if we gap up at the support. I'm going to rate the gap. And I will know how that rating is, how that rating comes up to determine what to do or, or to do nothing, whether to go long, whether to go short, or whether to do nothing. You know, and again, just because we're up right now, I mean, this could completely flip around. Remember, remember 2016? We were down, then we were up. I mean, it's just, you know, anything could happen here. So I'm gonna shut it down, relax, see where we are tomorrow. That's my take. Good luck, everyone. Hope everybody voted. Have a great day tomorrow. Oh, if you're interested in the Golden Gap course, the class is this weekend, November 7th and 8th. Have a great night.